Last month, I made a video on a Gensic open source IDE that offers one of the best alternatives to Cursor, Windsurf, and even GitHub Copilot. It's called Void. We haven't seen many open source alternatives to Cursor or GitHub Copilot that truly rival their capabilities until now. Today, I am back again to showcase why Void is a game changer. It's an open source Agentic AI IDE that has been quietly evolving and now has another powerful public release. Void is surprisingly polished and feature rich as you saw from my last video, and it's a great alternative that is completely free. Unlike many open source tools that get abandoned, Void is actively maintained and frequently updated. And that's exactly why we're back today to cover its latest features and upgrades. What makes Void stand out is its agentic AI approach. It goes far beyond simple autocomplete or basic AI chat features. Void acts more like an AI pair programmer, equipped with goal-driven reasoning and full contextual awareness of your entire code base. You can use it locally, fully open source, running on your machine, where you can keep your data private, customize your models, and have full control over everything. And on top of that, Void supports multiple agents that can handle a variety of coding tasks, making it one of the most advanced open source AI coding platforms that's available right now. Now within Void's roadmap, they have introduced a lot of improvements to their backend systems as well as their agents, but there's a lot of new features, which is why we're gonna be taking a look at it today. Like the ability to keeping up to date with new models within Void, having MCP support, agent branching, as well as adding image upload features. And this is all something that you can view within the changelog. There's a lot of new updates since our last upload. What really sets Void apart is its two distinct agent modes, giving you flexible and powerful coding assistance based on your workflow. Firstly, you have the agent mode. It's a full powered version and it can search your entire code base, create, edit files, delete files, run terminal commands, automate tasks, and make structural code changes, similar to Cursor's Composer, or Windsurf's Cascade. Then you have the gather mode. It's a safer read-only version, which is perfect for auditing code, answering questions, and working in a sensitive environment where you want insights without giving full right access. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Void is filled with so many features from autocomplete to quick edits to the chat mode. You also have it so that there's any large language model that you can access, whether that's open source or private models. And you have so many new features that are released on a regular basis, like checkpoints for large language model changes, lint error detection, native tool use, and fast apply even on large code bases. And to get started, you can simply install the beta by heading over to their website, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. And you can simply install it for whatever operating system you have. So in this case, I have Windows, so I'm gonna simply go ahead and install it. And this will install the installer that will help you uh, have this downloaded locally. And you can see it's pretty quick to install. And once you open it up, you're gonna be then greeted with this welcome to void screen and you can click on get started. This is where you can configure everything. And this is with providers like adding your own Gemini API key or open router. Now, if you're gonna be adding an open router API key, you can actually get free APIs from them. This is where they provide a couple of different models completely for free. They're rate limited, so keep that in mind. But you're still going to be able to generate things completely for free. In the same manner, you can do that with the Gemini API key. I believe you get a certain amount for free. Now, obviously, you can configure for other model providers as well. You can even use local models, LM Studio, or through Olama. There's also cloud and other options, but I'm going to simply go ahead and provide my API key for Anthropic, as I believe that is currently the best coding model available, but it is uh, obviously pricey. You can also import your settings as well as themes from various IDEs. I'm going to transfer it over from VS Code. And then after transferring, we're going to enter into the void. Now within the settings tabs, you're going to be able to configure the model that you want to use specifically. So you can simply rely on a certain model only. You can even have other providers models enabled as well so that you can use it for different agents like the gather agent or the regular agent. 
And speaking of agents, you also have a normal chat for you to converse with your AI in natural language queries. And what you can also do is that within the settings tab, you have the ability to go over to the feature option and you can enable autocomplete, which is where it's going to be able to autonomously execute your task. You also have the ability to auto approve edits, your uh, terminal based commands, auto approve MCP tools, as well as auto accept LLM changes. And this is essentially where you're going to make this whole process of using the AI agent autonomous. Now, within the general tab, you can import expert certain things, built in settings, and access one click switches. But now is the new uh, update, which is the MCP support. This is where you can now add MCPs directly within Void. And this is one of the new features that they have released in their changelog. They've also added an AI commit message generation edit tool now display with visual diffs instead of plain text. And there's increased support for Claude 4, Azure, and a couple other large language models. Within the project roadmap, there is also a couple of other new features that they have introduced, like dragging files, adding image support, and a couple of other things like agent branching. You can set how much you want to use in terms of thinking for the token spent. And now you can even have the ability to attach files and folders. So in this case, what I can now do is simply work on creating anything. Create me an image crop app as well as a component of accessing wallpapers. Now I can go ahead and right away select the agent mode to execute this task. And since it has reasoning built within the model, it is working on creating a step-by-step -step plan to execute this. And right now it is working on creating all the files. Right now it is writing the files. I'm going to simply go ahead and open up the folder that it's working in. Now, if you didn't have it set on auto approve, you can actually manually approve all the messages, which I highly recommend you do rather than doing this because you would want to see all the changes the AI is making rather than it autonomously generating everything. So for example, I have turned off the auto approve setting and in this case, it will showcase the edits it will make and then you can approve it based off of what you reviewed within that file content. And now within the next file, it will showcase all the changes amongst the overall code block that it worked on. In this case, I'm just going to keep it on auto approve to showcase the capability of what it's able to generate. And there we go. This is our image crop and wallpaper app. You can see the wallpaper gallery. There's none right now because you haven't cropped anything, but you can see there's different ratios that you can crop an image on. You can even save it as a wallpaper. And then within the wallpaper tab, you'll be able to view it over here. And this is just a super simple app. Obviously not a lot of features because I just told the AI to create something pretty basic, but this is essentially the basic output of the void ID powered by something like the clots on it. Now guys, just like any other ID, you have the ability to add something to the chat to reference that exact component as well as that exact file. So you can see it, I have selected lines 10 to 17 and it displays that within the chat itself. You can also have it so that you can make inline uh, changes Talk to the AI, select a different model in line, have it so that thinking is disabled or enabled to fix a certain problem within your code. And that's essentially how you can work hands on with your code. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content plus a lot more. But that's basically it for today's video on the new beta patch. There is so much more to this, guys, so I highly recommend that you take a look at this AI IDE that is agentic and similar to Cursor, Windsurf, as well as GitHub Copilot. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value out of it. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel, join our newsletter, join our Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out.